Terra Luna Classic, one cent versus one dollar. Is it possible? What are the main differences between these two prices for Terra Luna Classic? That is exactly what we're going to do in this video. So if you think a one cent Terra Luna Classic is possible, hit the thumbs up button. And if you think a dollar Terra Luna Classic is possible as well, hit the thumbs up button. And as always, not financial advice, but let's get straight into it. So Terra Luna Classic, the cryptocurrency, you guys can see it in the background right here, trading at around the 2,500 level. So over the last three months, we've been covering this cryptocurrency and you subscribers of the channel who've been watching this early, you've probably made a lot of money off Terra Luna Classic already. But you know, the big question is, can this cryptocurrency continue to climb? What is the difference between a one cent Terra Luna Classic price and also a $1 Terra Luna Classic price? What is possible? What needs to be factored in? What are the variables? That's exactly that we're going to talk about right now. So Terra Luna Classic sitting around the 3025 level. And if we factor in the most important thing to understand, so if we're going to do an analysis as in what's happening in the market today, isn't it, is it reasonable for Terra Luna Classic price to surge? We need to be checking out the realm of possibility. So the realm of possibility is that you're looking at the coin market cap rankings and uh, you want to be looking at some of the big market caps of some of the other big cryptos out there. So overall, total crypto market sitting around nearly 1 trillion. Um, but the biggest one in the crypto space that you have to benchmark against is Bitcoin. So Bitcoin market cap around 379 billion. The second biggest in the crypto space is going to be Ethereum, 191 billion. So they're, they're your top two blue chip cryptos in the crypto space. After that, what happens? We'll skip over the stable coins. You go to BNB. So BNB sitting around 44 billion proven cryptocurrency great utility, lots of adoption happening already. And then it significantly drops as well. So it goes down to 17 billion for Cardano, XRP 16 billion, Solana 11 billion, and then Polkadot 8 billion right there. But even even coins with not that much utility, so to speak, Dogecoin, 8 billion right there. So what we're looking at here, which is important to understand for a one cent versus $1 scenario, is that, you know, what what reasonably would be the market cap of Terra Luna Classic if these prices were to surge up? So again, if we're looking at a $1 Terra Luna Classic, as in today on the market, and you've got a 6.9 trillion supply, you know, for Terra Luna Classic to get up to 6.9 trillion overnight, that's not realistic in my opinion. So that's going to push the market cap too high. But there are some variables that we'll talk about you know, if Terra Luna Classic can get to $1, what's important about that? We'll talk about that soon. But what about a one cent price? So if Terra Luna Classic was to, you know, jump up to one cent, let's just say it happens and uh, great things happen for this cryptocurrency. Where would the market cap be for that? So one cent, 6.9 trillion Terra Luna Classic, that's going to give us a market cap around the 69 billion market cap range, which is interesting because again, if we go back to the realm of possibility and we have a look through the coin market cap rankings, guys, 380 billion, 192 billion, BNB, 44 billion. So that would put Terra Luna Classic, put it up in the top five cryptos with a market cap, you know, 60 to 70 billion. So right there, I want to point out that, you know, a one cent Terra Luna Classic, it actually fits within the realm of possibility. Of course, a lot of important things would need to happen for either of these prices to come true. But uh, what's important to understand for both of these scenarios is the time frame is going to be a lot different. So even for one cent Terra Luna Classic, we still need a lot of important things to happen for this cryptocurrency. So we've been talking about catalysts on the channel quite a lot. What are the catalysts coming up for Terra Luna Classic? We've seen some interesting ones kick off recently. I just did a video about MEXC. So MEXC is almost like the test scenario for Binance. How much are we going to get burned from MEXC crypto exchange? I was surprised by some of those numbers, but the big one we're looking for, of course, is CZ of Binance. So I do think CZ of Binance, 1.2% burn on Binance.com is going to be a big catalyst for either of these scenarios to push them up in price. And that actually might be a quick time frame. So I reckon possibly in the next you know week or two weeks, we're going to get an answer from CZ of Binance about that. That's really going to push up the price of our Terra Luna Classic if it goes in our favor, if we do get a lot of big burns happening for that. So it's really important that you guys stay up to date with that scenario. And then on top of that, you know, what else is important to understand is, you know, we, we spoke about a 6.9 trillion market cap. We spoke about a 69 billion market cap. But again, Terra Luna Classic, what is unique about this crypto is it does have a big focus on burning up the cryptocurrency. So the price can really, really turn into a bit of a wild card in a positive way because there is a huge factor of reducing the supply. So in these scenarios where we're talking about a $1 Terra Luna Classic, you know, $1 becomes possible if you burn up literally 6 trillion plus of the cryptocurrency. So it comes down to burn. And of course, the time frame for that can be much longer. One cent Terra Luna Classic, you know, the 
burns are also going to be really good for this as well but again the time frame could potentially be shorter because we don't have to burn up as much and uh, you guys know there's other cryptos out there and we spoke about it they don't have a crazy amount of uh, utility so dogecoin again uh, this is a valuation if we have a look at the market cap of dogecoin and we just have a look down memory lane for this crypto again what else is really important for any of these cryptos is uh, you know the market conditions and that is important to understand so if we look at factor number five and I want to explain to you guys Dogecoin and how Dogecoin got up to 90 billion in market cap. So if we have a look here, guys, Dogecoin pretty much nearly got up to 90 billion, you know, nearly got to 100 billion market cap. And that was simply based on market conditions of this cryptocurrency. So anything is possible in the crypto space. Things can happen rapidly. And again, if Terra Luna Classic even without much utility. So say like Dogecoin, this was to grow to a 90 billion market cap. Right there, you've exceeded one cent. So anything is possible in the crypto space, but it does come down to those macroeconomic drivers. So we saw a crazy good bull run recently. But again, crypto does come in bull runs and bear markets too. But I think those people who stay patient and they just watch out for the next bullish scenarios for cryptocurrency, they're the ones who get massively rewarded in this space. So I think patience is important. But I just want to point out that it is actually possible to push cryptos up to really high market caps even without like a really strong case for utility and adoption right there but on top of that you know if terra luna classic in my opinion is to get up to the, either of these scenarios another really important factor that you know is going to separate terra luna classic from just being say a meme coin like dogecoin it's going to come down to that you know utility factor so again you look at the big cryptos up the top and bnb coin in particular you know why are these the, the two biggest cryptos in addition to bitcoin it's because they have really, really strong utility. So you're going to see on Ethereum, there's going to be lots of projects launching on Ethereum. You're also going to see lots of pro projects launching on the Binance Smart Chain. So they have huge amount of options, to ways to raise and inject capital into the crypto market on those two chains. They have huge amounts of utility and DeFi action as well. So if Terra Luna Classic, I do think it has good potential, is to get up to one cent, is to get up to one dollar. You know, it needs the de it needs the dev team, it needs utility, it needs on-chain cryptocurrencies surging onto here and uh, it needs to look to be a long-term crypto project as well. So long-term serious crypto project with a strong decentralized community and uh, couple that with some favorable market conditions as well. And uh, we can we can see some very exciting things happen for Terra Luna Classic. As always, I want to keep it realistic on the channel as well. So, you know, potentially if the market conditions go against Terra Luna Classic and against the crypto market, you could also see drops in the price as well. So we have to, we can talk about one cent, we can talk about a dollar, but again, I want to keep it realistic. High reward, high risk cryptos, they can also go down in price and you have to be comfortable with that. If you're not comfortable, always say, you know, don't invest in cryptocurrency because it is a highly volatile market with a huge potential for reward, but also huge potential for risk as well. But I'm seeing a lot of bullish things happening for Terra Luna Classic. And I do think the next uh, couple of weeks are going to be extremely interesting for this cryptocurrency. So great to see a burn on Mexi happening. Guys, I want to see a burn on Binance. I want to see a burn on Qcoin. And I think that's going to really help out this crypto project. So we're going to have more updates coming up on the channel but i thought it'd be very very important just to talk through those dynamics what i'm looking for in the crypto market if you guys enjoy the analysis hit the thumbs up button and uh, we'll have more updates to come in the future thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next one crypto zeus signing out